you're probably wondering, is a Google Pixel 3a a good phone to buy for you right now? And let me just save you the time right now, the answer is yes. What is going on guys, Eric White in the building, and no, I did not choose my last name, unfortunately. And the Google Pixel 3a was just released a couple of days ago on May 8th, and I want to say there's a lot to talk about, but to be honest, there's not really that much. The Google Pixel 3a is targeted towards a specific group of people. Now for people who want a lot out of their phones, this isn't going to be the phone for you. Not saying that this phone isn't going to be able to deliver a great experience. It definitely will, but it's not going to be for a lot of people like me who want more out of their phones or are going to be more heavy users of their phones. Now the Google Pixel 3a has everything that you'd want in a standard phone for 2019. It's not going to have any flagship features. As far as the display goes, we are looking at a 5.6 inch display on the 3a and a 6 inch display on the 3a XL with a 1080p panel for both of these phones. What we are going to see change just slightly is the performance and that's because this 3a and 3a XL are housing the Snapdragon 670. They're not going to do the Snapdragon 855 which is on every other flagship device that's out right now but they're going to dial it back just a little bit which is why there's a price difference which we will get to in the end and it's also going to opt for four gigabytes of ram for both of these models as far as battery life goes we are looking at 3000 milliamps for the google pixel 3a and 3700 for the google pixel 3a xl which sounds amazing and if i were you guys i would definitely go for that 3a xl just simply for the battery alone now if you are okay with making those sacrifices the 3a is going to be a perfect phone for you and what makes it even more perfect is that this has a starting price of 400 dollars now for a lot of people that just sold them right there and i do encourage you to go pick up this device for yourself because the build quality is a little bit different it's a plasticky feel the performance is a little bit slower but the great thing is that the camera still remains intact one of the best cam if not the best camera in a smartphone that is out right now still remains in this camera so if you are a big camera person and you don't care about any other feature but of the phone you don't care about the screen really you don't care about anything else this one is going to be absolutely great and the thing that really really sets it apart from the competition is that if you want a great phone for a cheap price there's a lot of sacrifices that you're going to have to make the poco phone f1 had a pretty decent camera a decent screen it had the latest snapdragon and the performance was great but you have to make some sacrifices if you're going to have a 300 dollars price tag and for a lot of phones like that, that mid-range, there's always a sacrifice. It will have a great screen, but not great speakers. It'll have a great camera or it'll have a bad screen. There's always a sacrifice that you have to make. And I'm not saying that there is no sacrifice for the Google Pixel 3a. There's definitely a huge, well, not a huge sacrifice, but there definitely is a sacrifice if you are going to be going for this 3a. The performance is not going to be great. The screen will definitely be decent. And if you're not too pixel intensive or a pixel peeper, the phone's going to be absolutely great. But if you are one of those people, this one is probably not going to be for you. But once again, for a lot of people, this phone is going to work amazing. It's going to do everything that you need it to do. Still has a great camera, decent screen. The performance is a little, little bit lackluster. But if you can get over all of those sacrifices, the Google Pixel 3a is a great phone to buy, especially in 2019 with all these $1,000, 1900 flagships coming out. It's nice to see that Google set themselves apart and went with a phone like this. Now, is it going to change the competition? Probably not. The phone is not going to do great, but it definitely will sell some units and it is going to put them back on the map, especially since the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL were not selling well at all. But anyway, guys, that is all I got for you on this fine evening. Hope you guys all enjoyed the show. That is not a show. Make sure if you guys like the video that you go down below, click the like button. Make sure if you guys are new, you click the sub button, join Innovation Nation. And just like always, I will see you guys in the next one.